Hi everyone, it's Marcy here from Stampin' with Marcy. I am an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Ontario, Canada. Thank you so much for joining me today. I truly do appreciate you popping by, taking a few minutes out of your day and uh, joining me for some fun live crafting. I was live yesterday and posted my um, storage by Stampin' Up! Um, super excited for um, that um, it's all organized and I'm just looking because somebody's just come up to the mailed up box I'm just looking out my window there sorry about that uh, my storage is all on my desktop and I am absolutely loving it I worked away for a while yesterday afterwards and got it all um, well used um, it was fabulous having all of my inks and blends and all that right there handy for me uh hi danielle hi amory thank you so much for joining me now if you wouldn't mind please share my uh video um it's the way that i reach more crafters uh, more customers and team members uh, so if there is anybody that you feel that would be uh interested and enjoy my um crafting uh please share away sharing is caring so i am going to uh flip you around uh just uh, give me a couple minutes to uh change things around and get you down to my uh craft table so hold on just one moment okay so i'm gonna lower this today i have a gorgeous card for you that uses the all the good things stamp set all right so let's see and flip that so you're looking at the desktop there okay i think i need to be a little lower and i'm just uh bringing you up on my ipad so hold on just a minute it's gonna jiggle just a smidge more i'm trying to be as smooth as possible there we go now hopefully because i moved my room around i think my lighting is good i'm just going to move my pad here there we go so and I am going to bring it up on my laptop here and try to share to uh, my um, personal page as well. Okay, so post there we go okay so as you see this is the beautiful card that I created that I um, am going to be creating live with you today so uh, for this I am using this beautiful all the good things stamp set from the annual catalog um, but I want to show you that I have done a little bit of stamp surgery. Now, what is stamp surgery, you might be wondering. Well, this large uh, fish image with the sentiment was one complete image. Let me just take this off of my block. So this was together like that. Now, I knew for a fact that I would never use this all together like that. So I just took my snips and trimmed that off and they both will work perfectly separate. So uh, there's no worries about that. I did not wreck my stamp. Um, as you can see, I did the exact same thing with this tree image because I knew that I would uh, be using this separate than the sentiment. I generally don't like my sentiments and my images to be together on one 
stamp. And rather than masking it off, which you can absolutely do, I just thought it was easier for me to do some stamp surgery and cut it off. Now this also, this is uh, from the annual catalog. This was before we came out with the cling mount. So this is a clear mount. So um, I don't know if you can see, I save the excess from my new uh, cling mount, the excess uh, label stickers, and I have cut, don't know if you can really, if the camera's gonna pick that up. Um, I have cut a piece off and I have just attached it to that, so that has turned my clear mount into a cling mount, and I can easily, it's not coming off as you can see, and it hasn't hindered the image at all. You can still see through, but I now know that it is not gonna fall off on uh, me when I am creating. Now, this here as well, you can see the stitched scallop border. That is from the Occasions Catalog from the Be Mind Stitched Framelits Dies. This set of dies is so fabulous, not just for Valentine's Day. So it comes with this gorgeous um, edgelet border, but it also has these hearts. So, um, and then we've got some other detailed uh, framelits as well. So take a look at those in the Occasions catalog. You can do so much more than just use the hearts. They're fabulous. So as I said, this right here. So I've already got one done, but I am going to show you how to do the second one. But before I get started, I just want to, um, two weeks ago when I had my live, I had nine people share my video, but only six people wrote shared. So. Um, six people's names went in the draw for the Butterfly Elements uh, embellishments here from the uh, celebration. They sold out, and as you know, we're now into the month of April, so celebration is over. So this was the draw. So I had six names to choose from, and I pulled Carol Dubs. You are the lucky winner. Woohoo! So, Carol, I will uh, be popping these off in the mail for you. So this week, those of you that share, please write, when you share, write uh, comment shared on this post. So um, this is the All Adorned Photopolymer Stamp Set from Celebration. So this is this week's um, free um, sharing is caring draw so one lucky winner will receive that and all you have to do to get your name in the draw is share this video and comment shared now you must be in Canada to uh, receive product from me but anywhere else in the world I can mail you a thank you card so remember, you must write shared when you share it so that I know because privacy settings, if you haven't written shared and we are not friends on Facebook, I won't know. And my YouTube followers, as this will be posted on YouTube on Saturday, YouTube followers, you will be entered into the draw as well. So you can also have a chance to win this fabulous stamp set. So let's just get that out of the way. So today to create this, we are going to do some watercoloring to create the background. And I wanna just show you how I do my background coloring. So I have a piece of shimmery white cardstock that's already cut to size for what I need. Um, all of the measurements will be on my blog on Saturday, so you can go on over there to check it out. So I am using Coastal Cabana and Pumpkin Pie are the two colors that I am using today. So you can use a reinker to watercolor on a block or in a tray, or 
you can, if you don't have a reinker and just have the ink pad, take a clear block and pick up your ink that way. And there you have the um, ink right there that is easy and accessible for you. So I have my aqua painter, it's just filled with tap water. And what I do first to help my ink move around is I'm going to squeeze, see that puddle of water there? And then I'm just going to squeeze a bit more and I'm going to get my surface that I want the um, ink to be moving around on. I'm going to just move that around, just kind of scribbling the water. Okay, now I'm going to pick up my ink off of my clear block and you can either squeeze to drop, see how that spreads that out, or you can take and just move it about this way. Now, if you run out of ink, don't uh, put this back on your uh, ink pad as the water will get into your ink pad. So you want to just wipe it off first before you uh, go ahead and do that. All right, so. Hi, Stephanie, how are you? All right, so. And you can add more if you want. You can also add a few darker spots like that. And then you can also take it and move it around as you see because I've got the excess water on there. As I move my pick up and move my cardstock, it's going to move that ink to give me a bit of a different look. Just like that. Now you can take the heat tool to dry this. However, I like to just set it aside and let it dry on its own. I also, let me just wipe this off. I have just a microfiber cloth that I picked up at the dollar store. So just wipe that off. And then I'm just going to squeeze the water out and I'm just wiping. And you can see here, as I'm wiping on my paper towel, that is clear. There is no more ink on there. You want to make sure you do that every time. You can also, if you find that you've got a bit too much ink there, water and ink there, so you're just going to take the corner of a paper towel or a tissue, whatever you've got on hand, and you can just pick up a little bit of that excess. And then if you wanted more colors, you would let this dry and then you could go in with another layer of the exact same color to get it deeper or you could um, add in a completely different color, whatever you choose. Okay, so I'm gonna close up my Coastal Cabana and put that back here. I just love that my storage is here and I can just tuck things away right off the get-go. So I'm going to just set this aside and let it dry. I have I have another one that I had already done and set aside to dry. So and as you can see as it dries it curls a bit. So I just take my hand or you can take a bone folder and you see how that just I'm just gently trying to straighten that out just a bit so it's not so wonky just like that so it's just a smidge less of a curl but it's okay all right, so now I am going to bring in my Big Shot. 
that aside for a moment before I get stamping anything else. I'm going to bring in my Big Shot. And I've got some washi tape here. I also have some washi tape on my uh, framelit. I like to do that to make sure that I have not, I won't, um, it won't jump the track on me. So taking that off and I'm laying it down to make sure, I'm trying to make sure that I've got a fairly equal border here for when it goes through and I think that looks pretty darn good. And then I'm just gonna take my washi tape and tape that corner down, or I should say that end. And this one's shifted just a smidge here. Okay, just like that. And that way I know when I put it in, I'm gonna get a nice straight border. Okay, put that on, put my top plate on. And there you have it. How easy was that? Okay, let's get that out of the way. And get stamping here. Okay. Now on my original card, I have a With Gratitude. Um, that's from the Itty Bitty greetings. I am not going to put a sentiment on today's card because I don't need another thank you card exactly the same. So I'm going to leave it so that I uh, can choose what... Oh, this is a little tight because it hasn't been used that awful much. There. Um, I'm going to leave the sentiment off so that I can choose later on what I want it to say. So I'm just going to make sure there's no dust. Stamp off there. Okay, so this is one of our um, distinctive ink so stamp sets. So that means that you can see all these teeny tiny little cuts in the rubber. That is all the amazing detail that you get from this type of stamp that Stampin' Up! has created. And I always like to just stamp off to make sure that um, I don't have too much ink. The problem with the distinctive stamps, if you have a juicy or a very well inked um, stamp pad, you're not going to get a good um, clear image because there's too much ink on it. So what you need to do is take a plastic spoon. I always keep a plastic spoon handy here in my craft room. So you just take your plastic spoon and you would Take it and just with that round part, push that ink back down in because all of the ink, because of the way they're stored, comes to the top. So if it is too um, inky, there's just too much ink in there, by doing this, it pushes that ink back down and that will give you a much better image for your um, distinctive stamps. Okay. And then we're going to have this guy right like that. Okay. 
lovely. Now let's get that out of my way. Bring in my silicone craft sheet because I'm going to be using some liquid glue here to build up my card base. So because this is warped from the water, you're going to need to make sure whatever adhesive you're using, that you're using enough of it and close to the edges so that you're getting that covered so that it's not going to bow out. If it does, that's okay though. This is a beautiful handmade card. So the imperfections is what makes it perfect. All right, so. It's quiet here today. Danielle and Marsh Marshall and Buffy are back in Toronto now. They were just basically home for 24 hours. All right, I'm gonna flip that over so that I can really give it even pressure so that I can uh, get that liquid adhesive to adhere. Thank you, Anne-Marie. All right, so let's see. Pretty darn good, if you ask me. All right, so next I'm going to adhere this to my Calypso, or sorry, Coastal Cabana. Okay, so now to attach my two border pieces. Now, you could have had these a little smaller, but I wanted to make sure I had enough room um, to play with. So what I'm going to do is you can see where the seam from the um, die, the edge of it there, where that is, so I'm going to use that as my guide to not go over for applying my glue there. So I know that I'm going to use that as where my border is going to be. I'm going to place that down and then just slide that over to line that up. Just like that. And we're gonna do the exact same thing on the other side. Does anybody else do stamp surgery on their stamp sets? I'd love to know. <clears throat> Okay. Just like that. And then just put it on the flat surface so that we can just, I can see that that is just slightly off. So reach over here for my paper snips and just trim that off. There we go. Now bring in my thick whisper white card base. It's what I like to use as my card bases. It is much sturdier, I think. And that 
right to the top, making sure that you've got even spacing on the side on either side here. And then bring back my little little fish here. I want to stamp the inside. Can't forget the inside of your cards. All right, that doesn't want to open this time. I find that when you haven't used an ink pad a whole lot, they are very tight. It takes a little bit of finagling the first few times, and I think this is the first time I've used um, pumpkin pie was for this card. So let's have my fish like that. So there I have a beautiful fish on the inside. Now my last thing I'm going to do is I'm gonna add a few little water drop interest. So I'm gonna bring in my fine tip glue pen and I'm going to put, now the more you put, the um, larger your dot is going to be. The more you squeeze out. So, and this should always be the very last thing you do so that it has time to dry. And it will shrink down a bit. And when you're putting your fine tip glue pen back together, always make sure that that uh, needle is going back into the tube that the glue comes out of, or you will um, get it all clogged and it won't come out. I've had to replace my lids because I was using these in class. And at the end of class, two hours later, you're not noticing that somebody hasn't put the lid back on. And I tried boiling water and everything I could think of, and I could not get the um, stem unclogged, so I just replaced it. So as you can see, these t dots are tinier, but you can see there, it's just a clear little interest accent there to the card. And so these ones here are just a bit, a little bit bigger, but they will shrink down as the moisture comes out of them and it dries. But that is today's card. Now I can come in later on and add a different sentiment um, if I choose, or I could leave it blank and then just have the ins ins uh, sentiment on the inside. So again, thank you so much for joining me today. I truly do appreciate you taking some time out of your day to watch me. All of the items that I have uh, used to create this are available in my online store. Um, this is my full-time job, so um, I truly do appreciate all of the support that everyone gives me. And thank you so much for uh, watching. And remember, sharing is caring. And have a fabulous day and a great rest of the week. Thanks so much for stopping by. See you next week. Bye for now.